Hey y'all, I'm Alicia the Southern Ladybug and I'm just here to give y'all a little update. It's been a hot minute since I have talked to y'all and shown y'all what I got going on but I knew if I didn't do it this week, today, then it's gonna be another two or three weeks before I do. I don't even have that much cross stitch to show you but I have a ton of crafty stuff that I've been up to so I wanted to share that with y'all and next week we're gonna be out of town um, at the week after Thanksgiving, it's my birthday, and it's also the fourth is my floss tube anniversary, one year anniversary. I've been doing this for a year, and it's been so much fun, and I just want to say thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and coming back and just talking to me and liking my videos. It's just been so much fun. I was feeling left out a year ago when everybody was doing them and all my friends were doing it. And so I had to, I had to jump on board too. And I'm glad I did. Jennifer um, from Jen Stitching Mitch has been trying to get me to do it, had been trying to get me to do it forever. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to, I don't have that much to talk about. I don't have that much to talk about. And I don't stitch that much and I don't have that much to talk about. So I do have that much to talk about, <laughs> but not, not too bad. Um, I've talked about cross stitch, crochet, I've done some crafty stuff and it's been fun and I've really enjoyed it. So I just want to say thanks to y'all for hanging out with me for a year. It's been a wild ride. So today, I I don't have very much stitchy stuff to show you. I have been, um, I finished up my Mill Hill Village and I showed y'all that last time and I have it framed today. It's so pretty. I can't wait to show y'all. Oh, it's so pretty. That's another reason why I wanted to film this because I want to show you that before I go home this week for Thanksgiving and show it to my mom. She's probably going to keep it. So this will be the last time that it is ever seen again. <laughs> But I wanted to show that off before I took it home to her, besides just a picture, because that's not near as fun. Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook, y'all seen it already. But um, I want to show you in up close and in person, because it's beautiful, and I'm so pleased with it. But I'm probably not bringing it home, so I wanted to make sure I got that out there. Um, I finished up the village. And then I, I didn't do any other stitching. I had a couple of crochet projects that I had to get done, a couple of orders um, that people wanted. So I put my stitching aside to do those. And then I've been doing a ton of stuff on my Cricut. I've been trying to use that more. I've had it for two or three years and just really haven't done much with it. Uh, so I wanted to start getting that out. I've got some ideas and just been playing with it and trying to get more comfortable with it. And I don't know if any of y'all have a Cricut, but, and it's not hard, but it's a little, it's fidgety and it's a little frustrating. I've wasted a whole lot of material trying to figure that sucker out. It's got a million settings for a million different things that it cuts, but it's not hard, fast, this is the setting for vinyl. This is the setting for iron-on. This is the setting for cardstock. It takes a little, a little working with, and that's frustrating to me. Um, I, I'll show you one of the projects that I was doing last night. Um, I cut the, I set it on iron-on vinyl, like it says, and it cut completely through all layers, and it's not supposed to do that. So I had to turn it down to regular vinyl. And I don't know if y'all have a Cricut, but it's frustrating. So y'all can feel my pain. I, like I said, I've wasted a lot of materials over the years, um, over the projects, trying to get that right and get the right setting and everything. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. A lot of Cricut stuff, some crochet. Um, that's about it. A little bit of crafty, other crafty stuff. Um, I made some scissor fobs for my shop that have sold, so I can't show those. I've got a whole bunch of needle minders in my shop. Y'all go check those out. They're fun. I'll show you a couple of them here in a minute. Um, I'm just going to start with some of the, the haul I've gotten because it's right in front of me and I need to get that out of the way. And then I'm going to show you 
this is going to be a quick video, even though I've got a lot to show you, so buckle up. Here we go. Um, I'm just going to work my way down the pile. So first off, still getting the Victorian Motto sampler, um, Victorian Motto sampler thr shop threads, Floss of the Month Club. This is two months worth. Those look the same. I get the limited edition. Aren't those beautiful? I love these. Gosh, and I am loving stitching on them. I don't know what I, I stitched something recently with them. And I just love the way they feel as I'm stitching. And it goes through the fabric really nice. And it doesn't knot up on me. DMC and those and the, all the almost all the other fancy flosses they knot up as I'm pulling them through and they're some of them are rough pulling through and these are just smooth as everything and I love it and oh my god y'all I've, I've gotten spoiled with this chatelaine I'm gonna show you a little bit of progress on my chatelaine it uses a whole lot of silks and those are like butter stitching oh my god you can get spoiled and be a, a floss snob after using silks but who can afford that to use on everything anyway that was a side note i love the victorian motto i'm i get the limited edition i'm thinking i might need to switch maybe and get some of the brights i think ej from sunshine stitchers does the brights and then jennifer from jen stitching niche was doing the What's it called? Primitive, maybe? And maybe I need some primitives too. I need some of some of everything. But these are kind of these are kind of muted colors to this past couple of months. So they're pretty. I love them. There comes a ton of them. I, I don't remember how 20 yard skeins? Something. It's a lot. So you I'm not gonna run out of it. I get the color in cotton. Fabric of the month. Just to kind of up mustache. This is kind of a pinky, beigey, tanny color. This is 28 count Lugana bare copper. It's pretty. Building up a stash for that. I hadn't done too much on that. I did that one. I did one project that how um Halloweenies, Halloweenies for my friend. And it, it stitched nice. It was nice. I got Jen Stitching Niche got me. She's my local needlework shop. She gets me whatever I want. And then she hand delivers it. It's so nice. <laughs> Do y'all have, does your LNS hand deliver your order? The new Nora Corbett, Miss Honeybee. Isn't she beautiful? Ooh, come on, focus. There you go. Cause she's pretty. There we go. Isn't she gorgeous? It had another one, Miss Queen Bee, I think. And she was she was bigger. She had a poofier dress and she's beautiful too. But I liked this one. I'm anxious to get started on that. I've seen a couple of people have um have finished it. So that is Nor Corbett. And I also got the, the bee pack for that. Fun, fun. Love that. If you watched Jen Stitching Niche's last video, she talked all about her trip to Houston. Refocus, dude. To the quilt festival. And she she went a little crazy, I think. <laughs> she went a little crazy. She got a whole bunch of really neat stuff. A whole bunch of wool applique kits, some quilting kits, some all kinds of stuff. But she brought me and Bridget back a project to do. And we went to her house a couple of weekends ago and worked on it. It's wool applique. I have never done that before. And it shows. I didn't finish it, but I'm going to work on it. This is what she got me. It's by Calico Patch Designs. Patriotic pup. She knew I would love that. I love patriotic stuff and I love puppies. So this was perfect for me. So I got all my pieces cut out and ready to go. And this is as much as I got done. The flower pot and the flagpole. 
And like I said, I am not very good at this. My stitches aren't even. Jennifer was just whipping through that sucker and all of her stitches look perfect and mine not so much and my piece of felt I didn't keep it flat and tight and so it's bunchy but it'll be fine I will finish it didn't finish the flagpole but that's what I worked on so that was kind of stitching a little bit Let's that up um okay I will, well, I just dropped them so you don't get to see much. I'll show you a couple of needle minders I made because they're kind of fun. These are those double-sided ones. Harry Potter. Deathly Hallows. That's one side. Back side is kind of a, just a kaleidoscope. I thought that was pretty. Spring color with some jelly beans. A puppy. With some extra eyeballs down there <laughs> and a paw those are fun and a Christmas one a Christmas deer with the buffalo plaid on the back okay well I dropped the rest of them so maybe next time okay now I'm going to show you some crafty stuff that I did because I, I had a big old fat crafty weekend did a lot of stuff this weekend and a lot of stuff with my Cricut. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased about that. I'm going to show you my crafty stuff. i got to stand up and turn the lights off for a couple of them. You'll see. And then I'll show you the little bit of progress I got on my Chatelaine and then my framed Christmas Village. And then we'll be out of here. So let me turn some lights off. I hope y'all can still see this. But I'll show you what it looks like, what they look like in the daylight. And then I'll show you. No, I changed my mind. I'm going to turn the lights off. Maybe I'll be able to see. We've gone dark, people. We've gone dark. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I may have to cut this part of the video out. Ah, there we go. How you like that? I don't know what that... Oh, there's a glare. Sorry. I can't. There we go. Christmas Nativity. It's a shadow box. Isn't that gorgeous? So fun. And it's got battery powered lights. So I don't have to worry about plugging it in. Okay. And I made another one. I can't find them. There we go. Santa and his reindeer flying over a cabin. How cool was that? Isn't that pretty? The starry sky and the moon. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, I'm going to turn the lights back on. I'll pause you. Wasn't that cool? I love these. I am in a couple of different Cricut Maker um, Facebook groups. I don't have a Maker. I have the Explore Air if that's a question, but um, it's for Cricut Makers. Whatever. And... I just see all these fun projects that everybody's doing and I, man, I get jealous. I'm like, oh, I want to do that one. I want to do that one. I want to do that one. And so I finally just broke down and they had told where they got it. Um, they got them on Etsy and it's an SVG file. I have no idea what that means, but that's what I look for. And so I searched for it and found several things that I like. There's a couple of Halloween ones. There's some more Christmas ones that I really like. So I may make some more, but... I don't know what I'll do with them. Who am I going to give them to? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll sell them on my shop. I don't know. They were really super easy to make after I figured everything out. Um, again, some of the cutting was a little, little tricky and it didn't do right the first time. So I had to go back on the, on the Facebook group and kind of read through all the comments that everybody posted about to see 
what settings they put them on. You can't just put it on cardstock. Why not? Change the blade out, sharpen the blade, do this, do that, and set it on this. And I finally got it, and it finally worked beautifully. But it was a little bit of a learning curve. But they're really super easy once you figure out what you're doing. So this is the... This is what it looks like just with nothing. It's layers of paper. And you can see that uh, I've got little pieces of foam core between each of the layers. And kind of glued it all into place. That's what it looks like just sitting. And it's pretty. It's prettier than what you can see in this stupid video. Um, just sitting. It's pretty to look at. Period. That's the Santa one. And then that's the Nativity one. Whatever. This one's really pretty just sitting. I put it on my mantle. I saved this one for myself because it was the very first one I did. And it's a little not great but it's okay it's good enough for me um just a white nine by nine frame shadow box frame from michael's they were on sale friday night i made mike take me to to michael's because they were 70 percent off it was on a whim i was like oh let me see if those are on sale this weekend they were on sale for 70 percent off plus an extra 20 percent off if you ordered online and picked up in store so I promptly ordered online and said, Mike, we got to go to Michael's. <laughs> so we went and picked them up. So that was cheap. These suckers ended up being $5 a piece, five something. And they're regular, like 20 something dollars a piece, which is ridiculous. They're not that worth that much. I don't ever pay that much. I've gotten them for 50% off before. But um, this is a, I'll show you the lights that I use. They're called micro dots. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They're those little tiny little um, LED lights on a on a wire. And I liked them because I could test them and see how bright they were. Because I was afraid that these wouldn't be bright enough, this type of light, be bright enough to show through everything. And so I was glad that I could test it. And it worked fine. I, it was, it's perfect. They were $7.99, 20, only 25% off the... Christmas lighting and it's got a little battery pack with a a button to turn it on and off so that's my my crafty project I just love that everybody was impressed on Instagram and Facebook <laughs> and it really is not that hard I didn't do any I didn't do any work cricket you know somebody else designed hey bud somebody else designed the the pattern and the files, all I had to do was download them and get them into my Cricut program. And then Cricut cut it out, and then all I had to do was stack it and glue it. I can do that. I'm good at that. <laughs> all right, nosy. Don't be sniffing. Okay. One other thing is it's on top. Way, way back, I told y'all that I was doing, um, I was testing a pattern for a friend that she wrote, a crochet pattern. And it was a mystery crochet along for um, the Mississippi Fiber Arts Festival. I don't remember what it was called. I think they held it in Natchez or Vicksburg or something. Okay, thank you. He's snotting all over my stuff. And this is how it turned out. She gave me the, the yarn that I needed for it. And all I had to do was crochet it. Uh, it's got beads on it. And I provided my own beads that matched. And just um, test the pattern for her. It was a pretty good pattern. I made a few adjustments for her, um, Found some things. But isn't that pretty? And I don't know how to wear, wear shawls to make them pretty. But <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> So, I don't know. I may take that home and see if Mama will wear it. I don't know what to do with it. I'm not going to wear it. But Katie, that's the designer. I'll put her um, information below. She um, blocked it for me. 
and used it as the sample at her class that she was teaching at that at that festival. Sorry, bud. And then she said I could have it back. So that was that was pretty cool. Very nice. Um, it was super easy. There was a few new stitches that I had not done before, but her instructions were very good. So it was fun. I enjoyed it. And it came out in like four different parts um, for the crochet along. And so that was nice to kind of break it up and you didn't feel like you had to do the entire thing. Okay, next thing. Some crochet stuff still. I made some more scrunchies, velvet scrunchies. These are so popular right now. And I got some new colors in. Dark green, rose, teal, and kind of a burgundy plum color. Those are fun. Everybody is loving these scrunchies. Man. So, that, something else I worked on instead of stitching. A friend of mine <laughs> at work, he and his wife both, both work there. And me and my friend Gary, have we go way back. We've worked together for a really long time, both athletic trainers. And he comes and talks to me all the time. And he told me that he ordered, he showed me a picture of a shirt that he ordered for his wife. And it, it's been real popular. I've seen it all over Facebook, but it's the, um, this is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching shirt. And he ordered it from one of those, I think it was a Facebook ad or, or something, but you know, some of those seem a little shady sometimes. And he, he was just <laughs> telling me how he was a little nervous and was going to be watching his bank account and, and all that. And he wasn't sure if it was actually going to come in. So he hoped that he only, you know, donated 20 something dollars or whatever it was. I don't know how much it was, but he, he was talking about how he was scared that he wasn't going to get his shirt, but he did. He had actually came and pretty quick. I'm guessing it came from China and I was impressed with it. I was like, wow, that was pretty, pretty fast. Anyway, his, his wife is, is probably my size, but she's, she's well endowed. She's got big boobs and <laughs> He got it and it fit their daughter. He ordered, a, I think, a large four and it fit their daughter, like their 13, 14 year old daughter. And it was funny. So I was like, oh, so I got, I got crafty and I made a shirt for her. I hope it, I hope it fits, but I'm going to take it to him so he can give this to her today. But I bought this file on, on Etsy too. You can find anything on Etsy. I did, the, the file was pretty nice, actually. It came, everything was, came in parts. So I could change the color. I could move things around. I could delete things, whatever I wanted, which was kind of nice. Sometimes it doesn't do that. This is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching shirt. So I changed the Hallmark to gold. I think it was red in, in their picture. But it's cute. And I did okay. It wasn't, it's not great. This is only the second time I've ever done an iron on, on t-shirt. I made our, I made some shirts for me and Jennifer and Bridget to go to market last year with Jen Stitching Niche on it and um, all kinds of stuff that talks about, that's about cross stitch on the back. And it turned out super cute. And it wasn't that hard, but it was all one color. It all cut in one, one iron on, slapped it on, ironed it on. That was pretty easy. This was a little more, more challenging. And there is a learning curve for me. I'm not, I'm not that great at, at, at that kind of stuff. Then while I was at the vinyl store, we have a really nice vinyl store here in Hattiesburg and, um, fairly, it's fairly inexpensive and it's really nice vinyl, big sheets of, of vinyl of iron on or, you know, regular permanent. And while I was there getting the vinyl I needed for that shirt, I was just looking around, seeing what else they had. And they have all these sublimation prints and they're basically an iron on transfer, you know, way back in the day, iron on transfers, but they're, they're nicer. Um, they don't feel like, stiff vinyl it's like it was made into the shirt like it was dyed into the shirt um, Cricut has the infusible ink that 
does that as well. And so I was looking around at all that and found one that I just loved. And it's this reindeer. Isn't that pretty? Reindeer are my thing for Christmas. Some people are Santa, some are snowmen, and I like reindeer. So I had to get a, a shirt to put it on. You have to have a special type of material. It's got to be mostly polyester for that stuff to work, which I thought, mm, who wears polyester? But this is really super soft and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel weird like I thought it would. And it turned out super cute. Look at that. All I, all I had to do was iron it on. It was not hard. But it's pretty. I just love it. So that'll be my Christmas shirt this year. All right. That's it for the crafty stuff. All right. I'm saving the village for last. Make y'all wait till the end. <laughs> This is all I've gotten done on, I pulled out the Chatelaine finally again. I was ready to get back to that. Oh, I love this thing and I want to stitch it. And it's starting to go a little bit faster. These flowers around this edge don't take long at all. They're mostly half stitches. So one strand, half stitch, move on. But this is where I am. I've got this flower, top flower completely done and work, started working on that other one on the side. Sparkle. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love this. So much sparkle. It's like really, let's see if I can focus it better. It stays focused for a minute. Anyway, you get the idea. Isn't it pretty? Well, you can see it sparkle now. It's fuzzy, but so what? You can see it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep working on that. Um, like I said, I'm going out of town next week. This week, I'm, we're off Thursday and Friday. So I'll be going home to my parents in North Louisiana. And Mike's staying here. He's on call, so he can't go. He's going to be by himself for Thanksgiving. It's not that big a deal. He doesn't care. Um, I'll bring him some goodies back. <laughs> but I'll be home just for a couple of days because I didn't realize, didn't put it together that Thanksgiving is really late this year, and my birthday is usually a whole week after Thanksgiving. And this week, this year, it's only a few days. And so I just didn't, I just didn't put it together, whatever. We're leaving Monday after Thanksgiving to go to Branson. And I'm not going to have that much time, so I debated whether or not I even wanted to go home, period. But we can't go home Christmas because I only have two days off right in the middle of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. Um, or Wednesday, Thursday, whatever it is, Tuesday, Wednesday this year. And so we're not going home. I don't have any more days off. So I, we're not going home for Christmas first time in ever. I don't know if my mom will be able to survive. There was one year when I had back surgery that I didn't get to go, get to go home, but whatever. It usually doesn't happen. So, um, I don't know where we were going with that. I wasn't sure if I was going home for Thanksgiving. If I didn't go home for Thanksgiving, I don't know when I'd get back home. So I figured I would go. I'm only going to go for a couple of days and then get back Saturday, get all the stuff washed and packed and ready to go to Branson. We're leaving Monday and I don't know, come back later that week. Um, there's a couple of cross stitch shops on the way that I'm going to try to get. I'll have to get them on the way back because we'll be traveling up on Monday. They're not open on Monday. Um, Marlene from Stitching by the Lake told me about the one in Little Rock, Shepherd's Needle, and I definitely want to check that one out. And then up in Conway is another one, Stitcher's Garden, I don't remember, Stitcher's Garden, and then there is Cecilia's Samplers in Branson that I'd probably, I'll probably check out. I hope, I hope to get by there, but anyway, we're going to come back through Friday or Saturday and hope to catch those. Now, it's so pretty. I got to back up because it's huge. This is my Mill Hill Christmas Village 
these are all button and bead kits from Mill Hill. Individual kits that come with perforated paper, but I did not want to do it on perforated paper. I wanted to do it, several of them on one piece of fabric. So I used Whimsical Winter 28 count from Under the Sea Fabrics. And then I used just, I used all the called for um, thread and everything and beads and buttons. And this is what it looks like framed. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can hold it by the joint. I framed it myself. I, Jen met me at the frame shop and helped me pick out the frame with the help of the dude at our local frame shop. He's great. That's the frame. Isn't that pretty? He, he picked it out and me and Jennifer said, yep, that's it. That's what we need. You can see the sparkle in the fabric. It's an opalescent. I changed my, this is the Village Inn Needle Workshop and I changed it to be my local gin stitching niche. <laughs> the church, St. Nicholas Cathedral. And that is just gorgeous. It is it is nothing but beads and crinic in the windows. Oh, that's so pretty. But here's a tip. It came with number eight braid, and that is kind it's kind of thick on this fabric. So if you want to do this one on fabric, I would get the number four braid instead. It's okay, but it's it's thick. Then the apothecary and town hardware. That town hardware was a booger. There was a lots of color changes compared to the rest of them. And that's it. Nice gold frame. It's not real bright home down. He cut me a piece of foam core and I stretched it and then framed it. He gave me the mounting hardware too. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. That's the last anybody's going to see it. <laughs> Never to be seen again because I'm sure my mama will, will keep it. And that's okay. She loves it and appreciates it and knows what kind of work goes into it. I like to do things that other people like, so I don't really have a pretty place to hang it anyway. So it'll be fine. I'll put my reindeer out. She didn't like those, so I get to keep those. <laughs> she didn't like the way I mounted them in the fabric that I used. And I'm like, well, good. I like it and everybody else does too. So <laughs> I'll keep those and I'll put those up on my mantle. Um, probably with my new nativity shadow box and that's it so next week is my one year floss tube anniversary um i want to go ahead and get this out because it'll be a couple of weeks before i get back and, and can do anything else but i've been thinking about what kind of projects i'm going to take on the trip um i'm going to take just crochet this weekend home to my mom's she's got a couple of hats that she wanted me to do so Oh, that's something else. Where is that? Oh, I've already put, shoot. I made her a hat and it turned out really good. I forgot to get that, but I've already put it in the pile of stuff to take home. But, oh, well, um, if I, I think I took a picture of it. So I'll put a picture at the end of it just to show you. It was pretty kind of a newsboy style hat. She likes those. Um, I'm going to take crochet there. And then I've picked a couple of easy, projects to work on in the truck on the way to Branson. Um, nothing, you know, big counts and just basic, basic color. So nothing, nothing fancy. And I'll show you all a little bit of progress I get on that. Um, definitely not taking the Chatelaine. That's too much. <laughs> I don't, hmm, I got to concentrate on that and I don't want to mess that sucker up. Um, and that's it guys. Not too bad. Um, I got to go to work this morning. So I'll work for two or three days and then be off for, for a while. It'll be nice. I'm ready for a break. 
Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a Merry Christmas because I probably won't be back. I might see y'all before Christmas, but have a Merry Christmas if not. And a Happy New Year and all that good stuff. Y'all have a great day. Bye.